What is up there everybody and welcome back to the channel now today I'm gonna be painting my Honda Aero wheels that has finally arrived so if you guys didn't know the current Honda Aero wheel that I have on my moped right now the front wheel is bent from the previous owner that he has gotten into a wreck before so I'm gonna be replacing the front wheel but when I thought I have only ordered the front wheel the owner gave me the rear wheel as well this is completely awesome right here I'm pretty sure this is a front wheel I'm not quite sure but I think this is a rear wheel but I only I thought I only ordered the front wheel and then the rear wheel came together as well so might as well just swap both of them out so today i'm gonna be restoring these wheels that i got i know there's some little bit some rust on here so i'm gonna be sanding this down put primer on it and then put paint over it and then clear coat over it. so that's the plan for today and i know it's kind of a little meshy rainy day out here in the pacific northwest as always and this is actually a perfect day to paint because if you're a painter you know before they start painting cars or anything else they wet the floors down so the dust doesn't fly all over the place and guess what today is actually it's kind of a meshy rainy day out here of course in the beautiful pacific northwest so that being said i'm gonna be painting these wheels today but there's some other stuff that i have to show you guys one more thing for the moped and also update on the rsx if you guys are keeping up with the moped project that i got going on for the honda aero my front fork has finally arrived so yeah here it is ladies and gentlemen it looks mint i mean man this isn't Pretty near perfect condition. Some people are charging these side guard things on eBay for like 20 bucks. So it came both with it. And this was like only for 50 bucks. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't know, both of these wheels, I was only expecting one obviously, front wheel, but both of these wheels were like 40 bucks on eBay. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna lower the front suspension because I don't see any spring here, but I think I'm gonna ask my buddy Raj how we gonna figure this out there might be a spring inside of this plastic piece so i mean we'll figure it out eventually all right all right so the rsx update for my beautiful jade all right so the first thing i'm gonna show you guys is this beautiful spoon mirror i got here i can't do this in one all right so this is the beautiful spoon mirror that i got here let me flip this around it is so clean oh my goodness look at that Ooh, on the corner right here it says Spoon Sports. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now I'll zoom in. Right there it says Spoon Sports. Beautiful. Oh. Alright, so other than my beautiful spoon mirror, so why is there a tow hook on the RSX list? Alright, so the reason why is that, that my A-Spec front and rear add-on lip hasn't arrived yet, but hopefully next week, it will be here so that is coming on its way here soon so stay tuned on that and I'm gonna be you know doing like a fitment and stuff and I'm gonna be going over you know if it fits or not so I'm gonna be showing you guys that All right so the aspect front and rear body kit are coming in and then also also what is underneath here all right so underneath here is a very very this is like Christmas right now. oh my goodness yes a competition clutch stage 1.5 and also a lightweight flywheel has arrived so this is the lightweight flywheel and this right underneath here is the stage 1.5 competition clutch oh my goodness let's open these up real quick all right let's open these up real quick oh my goodness this is the lightweight flywheel competition from the competition clutch wow this is beautiful i'm not gonna unwrap these bubbles because there's oil protecting the flywheel right now so i'm not gonna open them until i'm gonna install them so yeah oh man let's open up the stage 1.5 clutch here oh my goodness look it's actually kind of pretty tiny than what i expected wow this is beautiful isn't it let's flip this side over oh wow, look at that 
a little sticker that says competition clutch. Who stage 1.5 baby? That is absolutely beautiful. Anyways, let's put this away. So I am waiting on one more thing before I install my stage 1.5 clutch is that I'm still waiting on my spoon buffalo oil pan so hopefully that will be coming in soon and after the spoon buffalo oil pan gets here I'm gonna be replacing the oil pan and also clutch to a stage 1.5 clutch so I'll be making that video so stay tuned on that I know that's gonna be a lot of work because to order to remove the oil pan on the RSX's you have to pull the subframe down to order to remove the oil pan out so that's a lot of work so yeah all right so that will do it the lightweight flywheel stage 1.5 clutch the front steering for the honda aero and two wheels that has arrived finally so i'm gonna be painting these two wheels oh yeah and also the spoon rearview mirror and the tow hook for the front a spec body kit that i'm waiting for so but i'm gonna be painting these two wheels today all right other than enough of me talking let's start refurbishing these wheels up and then start painting them all right let's clean this whole mess up in three two one all right so that will do it got my primer ready dunked in into uh, warm water got the white sparkle paint and also a clear coat to finish up, 80 grit sandpaper, masking tape, and 100 grit sandpaper, 400 grit sandpaper, 800 grit sandpaper. Alright, so I got my sandpapers and I'm going to start off sanding it down with 80 grit. And then next I'm going to move up to 100 and then 400 and 800 to finish it off. So other than that, let's start sanding these down. And I of course got my spray bottle there. I know it's kind of dinged up, but it's whatever. It works, so. Alright, so the main part I'm going to be sanding it down is all these rusts. So I'm going to get much as possible. I'm going to get sanded down to make it smooth. First I'm going to put these down. make the job easier Next step, add primer so it doesn't get rusted on. That is our next step. I'm gonna start off nice and easy. Second coat, here we go. All right, so this is after second coat. It's all dried up now. Wow, it's looking pretty good actually. Nice. All right, so I have flipped it around the other side and I'm gonna start my first coat here. All right, so the first coat is on and I'm gonna let it dry now. Nice, looking good. Coat number two is on and it's all dry up. So time for coat number three, baby. Day two. All right, so it was getting dark last night. So this is day two now. And then we got some little bit of problem here. Here, I'll show you guys. So as you guys know, last night I put the primer on and then we have some little issues here i don't know if you guys can see or not but there's some bubbles building up on the inside part of the wheel and also same issue is happening with the other wheel as well i peeled that part off you know just to make sure if it was bubbling it up or if, if it was paint or not so so next step i'm gonna sand these down and put the primers again 
I guess on this side only. Other side came out well. So yeah. Other side looks really good. No bubbles or anything. Same on the other side too. It was just on the inner side, I guess, of the wheel. Alright, so I'm gonna use 800 grit sandpaper to sand it down. So we'll see how it turns out. Alright, obviously I'm wearing a mask right now, so I can't really talk, but obviously the paint has to be dried up in order to sand it down if it's bubbling it up. So, alright, let's get started here. So I'm gonna try out 400 great necks. See if that works or not. So I couldn't show you guys, but after I was done sanding it down, I used a little brush to go over through these edges to get all the little, you know, crumbs off of there. So that's what I did. It's all clean now. Ready to go, baby. All right, so the primer's all dried up now. Time to put some little shiny glitter stuff on there. I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera or not, but oh, these sparkles are really shiny. Nice. So this is what it looks like before you put in a clear coat and after you put a clear coat. What a difference. Alright, so... That's where my masking tape went on. Turned out pretty good actually. Let's check the back side. It's hard to do this in one hand, but yeah, it turned out pretty good. Nice. They covered it pretty well, so. All right, so that'll do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you guys saw in the beginning part of my video, there's more mods coming for the R6 and also for the Honda Arrow, so stay tuned on that. And I just want to give you guys apologies that I haven't uploaded a video for like over three weeks now. I'm very sorry guys, but 2020, I'm trying to post as much as I can. So I think last year I posted like 58 videos or so. So this year my goal is probably around 100, over 100. So yeah, I hope that will happen. So other than that, I just want to say to you guys that thank you so much for your guys' support. So yep, other than that, if you guys enjoyed this, today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Other than that, if you subscribe to my channel, you already know what's coming. Peace out and stay thirsty, my friends.